I watched the surrogates earlier this evening and God, all the wasted potential. I'm gonna try to keep this fairly organized, but I can't promise anything. This is my first rant ever. First off, everything is just boiled down to the very basic, simplistic. Jonathan Mostov does not believe that his audience can think for themselves. Every second frame of the first maybe half hour of the film has like half of these synthetic beings and the other half being like robotic. It just, he keeps hammering into our heads. These things are not real. They are not human. Okay, dude, we get it. Get on with it. And and th this is supposed to be like, it's, it's presented as this just solves everything. Every, um, you know, crime rates drop like 99%. Why? So the people stop committing crime because, so all the issues of forming your own identity and what about unemployment? The actual, you know, the stuff that actually causes crime. People not having jobs and people having trouble forming their own identity so they're maybe, you know, acting out or whatever. That just goes out the window. How? Why? And even worse, it, it there's like one of the first uh, crawls in, in the very opening of the film says that racism and sexism are like non-existent now. What? Why? It's, uh, so gender roles just completely fix themselves and feelings of superiority or um, you know what that just all... How? Ex ex explain to me how. If somebody out there has figured it out feel free to email me. I'm you know I'll um, I'll pull back these statements if I, if anybody convinces me that I'm completely way off on this. But why would racism and and sexism go away? Would all our xenophobia, our instinctive fear of the unknown, which may or may not be dangerous? So the the concept is that people are just you know enjoying themselves with these and leading normal lives through these. How how does anybody? get a sense of fulfillment. I'm sorry, human beings have a drive. We need to be doing something. We need to be working towards a goal. Otherwise, we don't feel, you know, we we feel unfulfilled. We, it's, if you're not doing something, if you're not working towards something, you are not happy. That is human nature. It's, so, I'm sorry. To me, these things, you know, they'd have short lifespan, then the novelty would wear off, people would stop, and everything would go back to normal. It might even, in in some ways, make stuff worse because it's established that you you know you have to pay for these things. They're not free, so poor people would not be able to afford them. So what do they do? What it's and there are like different models. So I'm sorry, class system still exists. So how is anything better? Nothing. I'm I'm not saying the class system. You know that's difficult. That not not something we can just solve by snapping our fingers. No way. But it still exists in this world, so how is it utopia? It's basically the same world as ours, only people live it, you know, with these risk-free... And, and I'm sorry, the moment you take risk out of life, what's the point? There's no... Nobody who... People who take no risks are not happy. They are, you know... It's through taking the risks. We, we define everything good by the opposite. You know, good, evil, pain, happiness. If there are no risks, then nothing... People are not happy by if they get everything without there being any risks. That's not life. That's, you know... I mean, I'm sorry, but who plays video games all the time, for example? Video games do not fulfill that. They distract. It is not a solution. It and and the film acts as if these quick fixes are gonna solve everything, and and they don't. That's that's the tough reality of life. Quick fixes do not work. Everybody has to find their own happiness in their own way. Quick fixes do not work. They don't last. And I'm sorry, it's not you know. There's not gonna be one person. 
ju and only one person who realizes this and who wants to shut them all down. You know, so if we don't have Bruce Willis, things just go on like that? Bullshit. That, no, that doesn't work. People are not going to be happy like that. So Mostov basically wastes all this, you know, there's a ton of places you can go with this you know, if, if it actually um, went into the psychological impact of people living their lives without risk, what, you know, that it could, that it could lead to the realization that you do need the risks, that it's, you know, I mean, the ending, the ending has him forcing everybody to live their lives, you know, without the, the surrogates. So, he just forced the entire planet to go cold turkey. I'm sorry, that ain't gonna go well. There's gonna be, there's gonna be riots. People are gonna go insane. Just look at how he, he acted after, you know, these years of not being outside without the surrogate. He just pulled the plug on the entire world, and it's... I'm sorry, that is not a good solution. And you don't stop addiction by taking away the drug. That's, again, quick fix. Ain't gonna work. As long as there's a market for it, you know what, it's just gonna, some, some group is gonna start organizing, you know, these things because people now need, you know, you know there's now this create, created fake need for these um, machines, these surrogates. By pulling the plug on all of them, it's just gonna be, I mean, look, look at the war on drugs alcoholism, any addiction, I'm sorry, you don't fix it just by taking away the whatever it, it is that the person is addicted to. Either they they find their fucking way to some stuff that's going to satisfy that addiction, or the addiction switches to some other, they become addicted to some other substance or whatever, on without that... Um, and part of the problem with the film is that there are, like, there's almost no characterization. The, there are, like, you know, maybe two people who have character at all, and that's Bruce Willis and the Cantor, James Cromwell. And James Cromwell, Cantor, is a psycho. When he, I mean, when, when you get to the core of his plan, he's basically planning to kill everyone. He's going to upload that fucking virus thing to everyone destroying the surrogates and killing the specifically also killing the people connected to the surrogates and the way it's presented in the movie everybody's connected to, to the surrogates so what everybody but Bruce Willis dies is that his master plan rebirth of the fuck I mean I don't you know if I'm fine with Bruce Willis being the father of a new civilization he's badass, but what, I mean, if he's the one person left, what, cloning, what, so nobody can be on Cromwell's side, and there are no real other sides as such, because the prophet turns out to be Cromwell, and that makes no sense, because there is no way they wouldn't, the, the dreads wouldn't have discovered that the prophet wasn't a real person because sooner or later Cromwell is going to have to switch to. I mean, you see him over and over in other surrogate bodies. So, by the way, that kid in the limo, good fucking acting. Completely sold on that. That was like the acting in general, very good, excellent. No real complaints there. Bing Rames was miscast. <clears throat> the kid in the limo fucking sold that just absolutely but there is no way that because it's established that when you hook out of a surrogate they freeze they stand still and there's every time we see the prophet he's got people around him except for when he's inside the and making speeches in the mic 